Hi, in this quick tour we're going to have a quick look at um, LDAP Browser. Now LDAP Browser allows us to browse a directory and look at the contents of a directory. Um, so let's just blow this up full screen and give us a bit more sort of space here. Um, so what we have is that we specify the service name as always and um, what we can also do is that we can actually specify which partition we want to look at. So we can actually look at the uh, default um, domain configuration domain or we can actually look at configuration schema or the application partitions associated to the DNS. So we'll leave it at um, default uh, domain. Um, but also we can actually browse down inside here and actually select one if we want to. Um, if we actually just click go. So this just this lets us browse through um, the directory so we can actually do sort of just scroll through and navigate through the directories we can see which objects actually exist in various places and so every time you select anything select anything the actual attributes are displayed over here now as we go through um what there's actually a, a maximum of um, entries which can be displayed um at one time and so what we actually get is this little icon here indicating that it's been filtered and it tells you at the top here it's been filtered. So what we can do is that if you want to increase that filter, we'll just say increase that. And if we click on there and do um, F5, just to refresh that, and it'll then reload it. And as we click through these attributes, we uh, sorry, these, these, these user objects in this case, we actually can see all their attributes here. Now from here, we're pretty much the same as everything else in, in NetTools. We can open up the attributes field, we can see the metadata against these these um, attributes and we can also then do the copy and paste so we can actually copy those across. Um, within the attributes side here what we can also do is we can actually look at these values so if there's a multiple um, multiple values then we can open this up and show this multiple values um, and we've also got the option if we want to is to actually show the values with no decode um, and this is actually will display what the raw format of what's in Active Directory. So this is um, what's referred to as a GTFT date format. Um, but NetTools by default, when you actually do values, will convert it into a more readable format for you. And that's the decode types in action. So it's actually decoding that data for you. And that's the same for when you actually look at the when created date, which is actually also using that GTF date format. Um, one slight different one if we look at um, a user that may have logged in. None of these have actually logged in. Let's see if we can find one. So this particular user, when we actually look at these timestamps uh, for the last log on, these are actually a 64-bit time. So when you actually look at the time for this one, it's actually as a number. Um, and so this is using a uh, an in 64 date um, and but net tools will actually see that and actually convert it for you so that's part of the actual data decodes um so other features within here is what we can actually do is we can filter what's actually returned so we can actually define a filter and that will limit what's actually displayed at the time also we, within this this panel panel here we can actually um change which um what attributes are actually displayed um within this one to make it easier sort of do a, a quick look up comparison when you actually look through the list of direct list of objects there so we can actually get the telephone number up there and we can actually see the telephone number we can also do like things like sort on it um to actually uh, then manipulate this data even more um so as it stands LDAP browser actually exists in two parts in net tools this is the pretty simple one it's using the user context it doesn't give you any options about how you're actually controlling um, what you see or any server-side controls in it. Um, but also within LDAP search, um, LDAP browser also exists and it exists here. Now, when you actually open up the LDAP browser here, it's exactly the same, same features as was in the previous one. So the difference is, is that if you start putting in server-side controls, so we specify things like deleted objects and recycled objects, and we actually then browse it. Now you'll notice that the um, deleted objects containers here, so we can actually now go and actually view what's actually been deleted from the directory. Um, and so when you actually open LDAP browser from here, 
any of the actual server-side controls which have been defined or whether you've actually got an SSL bind or you're actually using different sets of credentials and different authentication types. That's actually then used to actually um, open up the LDAP browser. So you can get more control or actually define what you'll actually see within here. So that was the quick tour of LDAP browser. Um, until next time.